Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Andy, Andy, come on, let's go. Wait a minute, what's going on here? It's the Amos and Andy Show. Of the many social affairs that the Mystic Knights of the Sea Lodge holds during the course of the year, there is none that everybody looks forward to as much as the annual masquerade. It's going to take place tonight in the big auditorium at the Lodge Hall. At the moment, Amos, Andy, and the Kingfish are in Andy's office discussing the costume situation. Oh, I tell you, fellas, me and Ruby are sure looking forward to the masquerade ball tonight. Yeah, gonna be a great affair, all right. Oh, uh, what are you gonna wear, Emma? Well, me and Ruby got a couple of nice costumes. Uh, well, I don't want to tell you what they is. You'll see them tonight. Yeah, well, it ain't no secret how me and the battle axe is going. My uh, wife is going as the Statue of Liberty. And I is going as Bluebird the Pirate. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you taking Madam Queen, ain't you, Andy? Yeah, that's right. Uh, what is she going to get dressed up as? Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> uh, you mean Big Red Riding Hood, don't you? Yeah, the wolf wouldn't stand a chance with her. Well, you know that? He wouldn't stand a chance. No, sir. But listen, Kingfish, before I forget it, uh, if you'll dance with Madam Queen, I'll dance with your wife. If I dance with Madam Queen, you'll dance with my wife. Yeah. I'll give you about a hundred pounds there, you know. <laughs> Nothing doing, son. Mm. Uh, say, Andy, you ain't told us what you're going to wear to the masquerade. Well, I don't know yet. You don't know yet? No. Well, how long you expect to wait? The ball starts in a couple of hours. Well, I know it. I know it. I ain't been able to get no costume. The only ones they got left is the ones that cost twelve or fifteen dollars. Uh, how much you got to spend, Andy? Five dollars. You got five dollars, huh? Yeah. Mm, well, look, Andy, I might be able to get you a costume with all the disconnections I got. Yeah. yeah, you ought to have a costume of some kind, Andy. Yeah, well, do that. Try to get me one, will you, Kingfish? Get me something good, though. Uh, Prince Charming or Robin Hood, something like that. Oh, you're shooting awful high there for five bucks, Andy. Uh, what I might be able to do is get you a part of a costume. You know, the blouse and the hat and all that. Yeah, well, that'd be all right. Uh, then I could wear my own pants, be Andy Brown below the waist, and Robin Hood up above. <laughs> Is this the elite costume company? That's right. Mr. Phillips speaking. Well, uh, Mr. Phillips, this is the kingfish. Uh, mm. I has got a bosom pal uh, that's coming to our masquerade tonight, a uh, fellow about my size. I want to help him, and I was wondering if you has got a costume over there that I could rent for him for, say, $2, and you could bill me for 5 and give me a $3 rebate. <laughs> Well, sounds like somebody's going to take a licking. Oh, no, sir, Mr. Phillips, no, sir. Uh, this is a legitimate business deal I got here. It's what they call a compound discount on a bosom pal. That's what it is. <laughs> well, anyway, Kingfish, I don't have a costume left in the place. The crowd that you were having over to your masquerade tonight clean me out. Sorry. Uh, well, thank you just the same, Mr. Phillips. Goodbye. Getting so you can't even help a pal when you want to. What is the world coming to? Oh, come in, Lightning. Well, hello there. The Lord sure do look pretty with them paper streamers hung up. Yeah, what kind of costume you wearing tonight, Lightning? Oh, I was going to the masquerade some other time. I can't go this year. I got to stay home now. You see, my wife has been putting in seven days a week at the lunchroom, and when she come home at night, she got a lot of housework to do. Yeah. Well, you could come, though, couldn't you, Lightning? I know, sir. I wouldn't leave her alone with all that work. I want to be there to cheer up while she do it. <laughs> well, I got to go home now and do something for a new rumor that we took in the place. Uh, you say you took in a rumor, huh? 
Trying to unfree expenses? Uh, yeah, so we took in a policeman, fellow by the name of Officer Joe Harris. He's a nice man, a big fella, too. He went to Philadelphia for the weekend. I got to press his uniform while he's gone. Uh, did you say uniform, uh, and it's at your house now, and uh, he ain't going to be back till Monday? Ah, uh, yeah, sir. Say, wait a minute, Lightning. I know him. I know Joe Harris. Say, tell me, how is my old pal Joe? Is it still about size 44? Uh, yeah, sir. I guess that's about what he is. Uh, you was good friends with him? Oh, like brothers. Can you beat that? My old pal back in town, size 44. <laughs> uh, ain't coming back till Monday, huh? Uh, I tell you what I'll do, Lightning. I'll borrow my pal's uniform for the masquerade tonight, and I'll have it back in the morning, and then you can press it. I wonder what Officer Harris is going to say. Oh, uh, Harris, or uh, who? Oh, uh, yeah, you mean my pal, yeah, Joe Harris, yeah, size 44. Uh, oh, no, uh, he ain't going to say nothing. Uh, now, you go ahead. Uh, I got to make a phone call, Lightning. All right, sir. I'll get back to my place, I think. Well, I kind of got a break there, all right. Who would have ever thought that a man's best friend is a policeman? Hello? Uh, Brother Andy, this is your pal, the Kingfish, talking. Oh, yeah. What happened, Kingfish? Well, I got you a costume for the ball tonight, a beautiful policeman's uniform. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'll have it in here in about two hours, and you know what? No, what's that? Are uh, you getting it on a real deal, Andy? I got it within your price range, five dollars. <laughs> Oh, you're trying on your costume, huh, Kingfish? Yeah, what do you boys think of it? Yo-ho, yo-ho, walk on the plank, sailors. Well, it's all right, Kingfish, but do you think you was the type to go as a scarecrow? Uh, wait a minute, this ain't no scarecrow. Uh, heave to, shipmates. Yeah, I suppose it'd be a pirate. Oh. A pirate? Well, the pirate that owned that costume sure must have been in a lot of battles all right. Yeah, if those holes in the thing here mean anything, he must have lost every one, too. This costume is a mess. And look at the tin sword they give me here. Ain't more than a foot long. I wonder what I could do about this costume. But say, Kingfish, what is this blue uniform laying on the table here? Oh, that, uh, that's a costume for Andy. Mm -hmm. Or is it? Well, boys, I think I'll get on home and try on my costume so we can be ready for the thing tonight. I'm trying to anxious to try it on. Yes, me too. This is going to be a charming affair tonight. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, come in, come in. Oh, gentlemen. Well, how is you, son? We're just going home to get on our costumes, Andy. See you tonight, boys. Yeah, well, I got to go too, son. So long, fellas. So long. Goodbye, boys. Well, Kingfish, I come over to get that policeman's uniform. Uh, say... What you looking at me that way for? Uh, just stand the way you is, Andy. Hmm? Hmm. It's amazing. What's amazing? Of all the men's I've ever seen in my whole life, you is the perfect pirate type. The resemblance is amazing. Show sure enough? No question about it. I tell you, I was just trying on this pirate costume here. Oh, it's a great costume and I love it. Hmm. But I just ain't got the figure for it. You ain't I, got... I ain't got the real genuine pirate figure that you got. Yeah, no, yeah. No, I'm sorry to say I ain't. On the other hand, you is the typical buccaneer type, big and strong, a uh, regular swashbungling pirate, you is. Yeah, yeah, I guess I is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure, now, now, when you laughed just then, I could see them muscles uh, just below your chest rippling there, all along there, them muscles was rippling. <laughs> So what it all boils down to is this, Andy. I is going to let you wear this pirate costume I got here, and I is going to wear this old broke-down policeman uniform just because I love you. Yeah, well, that's nice of you, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, listen, I tell you, there ain't nothing that I wouldn't do for a fellow that I love as much as you. Oh, yeah, I know and, that. And I tell you, I do it right from my heart. Yeah. And speaking of a heart, uh, you got the five bucks, ain't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, here it is, right here. yeah. Oh, Andy, this is going to be a great costume for you. Now, look at this sword here. Mm -hmm. Made out of the finest sword steel uh, there is. Yeah, let me take a look at that. Yeah, thing. look at that there. Hmm. Same stuff they make tin out of, ain't it? Uh, <laughs> Andy, uh, 
you, you don't know how much chiseling I had to do to get this costume for five dollars. Uh, you really done put over a fast one, huh? Andy, you have no idea. <laughs> Madam Queen, you sure do look fine tonight. Oh, thank you, Amos. That costume you got looks kind of scrumptious, too. You're supposed to be Napoleon, ain't you? Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I'm supposed to be, Napoleon. Uh, guess <laughs> what I'm supposed to be, folks. You know, Sapphire, when you first walked in with that costume and mask on, I didn't even recognize you. Well, I thought I'd fool you for a while, anyhow. Well, you certainly fooled me, Sapphire. Guess what I'm supposed to be, folks. Where's Ruby, Amos? Oh, uh, let me see. Where, oh, oh, there she is over there talking to Henry Van Porter. Oh, yeah. Say, he do look nice in that cowboy costume, don't he? Guess what I'm supposed to be, somebody. All right, Andy, what is you supposed to be? Hi-ho, hi-ho on a dead man's chest and all that stuff. <laughs> oh, you Undertaker, huh? Oh. <laughs> We, we, we sure gonna have a lot of fun here tonight. Uh, say, look, here come the kingfish in his police uniform. Well, hello there, folks. Here comes Officer Stevens. Walking his beat, finds everything peaceful and quiet. Hi, Andy, you look great. Yeah. Did you see Brother Crawford over there taking tickets? Oh, uh, yes, I did, Sapphire. He's supposed to be uh, Little Lord Fauntleroy. I think I know everybody here tonight except them two gentlemen standing over there. See them? The tall one and the short one in them checkered costumes. Oh, yeah, I don't know though, who, who them is either. Come on, Andy, let's me and you dance the next one. You ain't asked me dance with you once this evening. Yeah, well, uh, I, I've been wanting to, but uh, a lot of the other fellows has asked you to dance, don't they? <laughs> yeah, but I want to dance with you now. Yeah, well, I'd love to, honey, but uh, I done promised the kingfish here that he could dance the next one with you. Andy, uh, I wouldn't rob you of the pleasure. <laughs> oh, come on, Andy. All right, honey. Put your 200 pounds in my arms and let's swing it. <laughs> well, hello, Officer Harris. Uh, what is you doing home? Uh, hello, Lightning. I thought you was going to be away till Monday. Well, I got a call from headquarters to come back. I guess they're short of help. Did you press my uniform? Uh, no, sir. Your friend borrowed it to wear to the costume ball. Uh, what's that again? Uh, uh, your old friend, the Kingfish, George Stevens, borrowed your uniform. Hey, what are you talking about, Lightning? I don't know anybody around this town. Well, so, well this fellow say that he know you, that y'all is pals, and that you would want him to take a uniform and wear it. Say, does he want me to get fired off the force? I don't even know who you're talking about. Well, he say he know you that you was his pal, size 44, that's what he say. <laughs> well, where is this guy with my uniform? He's up here two blocks at the Mr. Nice of the Sea Lodge Hall. He's got it on now. Oh, he has, huh? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. i got a couple of phone calls to make. And when I'm finished, I'm going to go up there and I'll lay one on that guy's jaw the second I see him. I'm going to knock him cold. Yes, sir. Well, Officer Harris returned to New York unexpectedly to find his uniform gone, and it looks like trouble is brewing. Right now, Lightning is at the door of the lodge hall talking to Brother Crawford, who is taking tickets. He's there to warn the kingfish of his impending danger. Well, Lightning, I didn't think you were coming to the masquerade ball. I said, well, I ain't staying. I just want to see the kingfish. Is you see him, Brother Crawford? Well, yes. Uh, he's over in his office, I think. He's counting the receipts we've made on the sale of tickets. Uh, thank you. I got to see him right away. Hello, Lightning. Nice costume you got on. Uh, thank you, Mr. Van Porter. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I ain't got on no costume. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lightning, come in. I got to see you. Uh, close the door. Well, Lightning, uh, 
Looked like the masquerade ball is a success. So just counting the cash here, 125 smackers. Got it right here in this strong box. Uh, Kingfish, I got some bad news. Joe Harris is back in town. I don't know no Joe Harris. You know your pal size 44? <laughs> oh, me. You mean the policeman? Uh, yeah, sir. Lightning, listen, uh, you didn't tell him that I had the uniform, did you? Uh, well, what else could I tell him? Oh, Lightning, what did he say? Hey, he didn't say nothing. He just throwed me out in the hall. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, what is he going to do, do you know? Uh, yeah, sir. Uh, he making a couple of phone calls, and he say he's going to come over here in a little while, and he say when he finds the man that's wearing his uniform that he's going to knock him cold. Oh, me going to knock him cold, huh? Oh, what'll I do? What will I do? Brains don't go to sleep on me now. <laughs> uh, he means business, all right. Oh, I wish I had some other clothes here. Oh, I hope that ain't him. Uh, see who it is, will you, Lightning? Hello, Lightning. Hello. Uh, hello, Miss Andy. Uh, Brother Andy, come in, come in. Uh, uh, Lightning, uh, go on outside and kind of stand by. Uh, get yourself a sandwich and close the door. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Listen, Kingfish, you promised me that you'd dance with Madam Queen, and I... Hey, Kingfish, why is you looking at me that way? Just stand the way you is, Ander. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. What's amazing? Andy, did you know that you was the perfect policeman type? <laughs> the resemblance is amazing. Yeah, well, I know this much. I ain't the pirate type. Of course not. I done made a mistake there, Andy. After all, what is a pirate? A thief, a chiseler. He ain't nothing but a bum with a sailboat. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you as definitely ain't that character, is you? No, sir. I ain't got no sailboat. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, Ender, you as the kind of a man that ought to be wearing a policeman's uniform. So to get to the point, Ender, uh, I'm going to do you a big favor. Mm. We'll switch costumes. You put on the policeman's and I'll put on the pirate's. Okay, Kingfish. You know you ain't such a bad guy after all. Did any of the masqueraders see us come in this office here? No, be quiet. I can open this strong box in one second. There it is. Say, that was pretty quick work. Let me get this door in my pocket. Then we better get out of here. I'll say we'll beat it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here comes somebody. Jump into that closet. Okay, come on. Uh, got it right here in the office, boys. Uh, come on, Amos and Henry. Well, I is certainly gratified that for once we has took in more than we has give out. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I had to turn pirate to get all this money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Pirate Stevens has got $125 right here in the strong box. I'll show it to you here. Might even let you run your hands through it so you see what $125 feels like. Say, say wait a minute. Look here. Boys, the, the, the place has been robbed. Really, King? Pete? Yeah, look, you can search me. I clear I ain't got it. Go through all my pockets. I ain't got it, boys. I, I just left here three minutes ago, and I give you my word of honor that I had $125 in the strong box right there. Somebody done robbed us. Listen, you know we had two men around here tonight that's in this large hall somewhere that's dressed up in them costumes with them little checks all over them. Yes, that's right. I remember that. And there ain't nobody seems to know who they is. Yes, sir, I'll bet they had something to do with this. Henry, I think you got something there. Yeah, the two men with the checks on the costume. I remember seeing them around here, and I didn't know them either. Well, I'll I... tell you what. I'll call the police. Yeah, I tell you what. We've been robbed all right, fellas. Listen, let's go out and walk around the hall till we find the two guys. Okay, come on. And some of us will block up the front door so they can't get out. Come on out the closet, Shorty. They're gone. What do we do now? Listen, Shorty. Hmm? Did you hear what those guys said just before they went out of here? Yeah. They, they got us spotted by the costumes and they're watching the front door, too. Well, what would we do now? Let's see. Make a break for the front door. Oh, no, no. We'd never get through. Say, listen. I can squeeze out through that little window there. Can you? No, I can't make it, Shorty. They really got me in the spot here. Hello there, Lightning. Hello. Is you having something to eat? Uh, yes, sir, Miss Andy. Uh, 
I just see you out there dancing with Madam Queen. Yeah, I'm sure glad that's over. I was really tripping to heavy fan traffic there. <laughs> uh, well, you... Miss Andy, what is you doing with the policeman uniform on? What you mean? What is I doing with it on? Well, that uniform belongs to a real policeman. He coming over here any minute, and he said that whoever got that uniform, he going to knock him cold. Well, well uh, you mean this ain't a costume? Uh, no, sir, Miss Andy. This is a policeman uniform. The kingfish took it, and I just told the kingfish what the man's going to do to him. Oh, so that's it. Why, that no good double crosser. Oh, me, what is I going to do? Well, Miss Andy, I, I don't know what, but I, I tell you the truth, you better get it off or something. Officer Harris ought to be here any minute, and he mean business. Oh, me, where can I go? What must I do? Well, uh, well, well, why don't you hide in the kingfish's office and lock the door? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh, me, this is a mess. Why didn't I stay a pirate? Look, Shorty, we can't hang around this office no longer. We got to make up our minds and get out of here. Uh, well, maybe with the crowd milling around out there, we might be able to sneak through. Uh, let's open the door a little and take a peek out there. Yeah, just crack it open a little. How's it look? Uh-oh. There's a guy coming over this way. Some kind of copper's uniform. We better get back in the closet. Wait a minute. I got it. When he comes in, we'll let him have it. Then I'll put on this uniform and walk out. And Shorty, yeah. you go out through the window. Okay. Let's get behind the door. Oh, me. Let me get in here and lock this door. <laughs> All right. Stick him up. Oh, listen, mister. I got serious trouble. I know this is a masquerade, but I ain't got no time to play cops and robbers. We ain't kidding, buddy. You see this gun? Yeah, well, I'm... Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't shoot, mister. Please don't shoot. Don't do... Oh, All right, then. I'll keep your trap shut and do what we say. Yes, sir. Yes, I, I will. I'll do anything you say. Mister, please don't shoot me. All right, take off that uniform. Uh, yes, sir, mister. Yes, sir. Coming right off. Coming right off. Shorty. Yeah? I'll put on this cop's uniform. Tie this guy up good. You beat it out, out, you beat it out the window. I'll walk out the front door with this uniform on. Nobody will know me. Okay. See you later. Very sorry, but you cannot come in without a ticket. But I happen to be police officer Joe Harris. Oh, uh, come right in, come right in. Uh, I'm looking for a guy here in a police uniform. Oh, uh, well, now, uh, one of our members is wearing a police uniform. Uh, I don't know where he is right this second, officer, but uh, he's around here somewhere. Oh, wait a minute. I see him coming over this way now. Yeah, that's my uniform, all right. Hey, you, where'd you get that uniform? That's my business. Yeah, and that's my uniform. Take that! Oh, what's the matter? Quick, call the police to the police! So you see, Amos, that's how the whole thing happened there. Uh-huh. When Joe Harris knocked that guy cold that had on his uniform, they searched the fella and they found the money and they took out of the strong box there. Got it all. Oh, well, that's great that they got the money back. I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing. When you think about the whole thing, Andy, it sure was lucky, all right. Yeah, but you know something? I was the luckiest one. Uh, how's that, Andy? Oh, that two-time and kingfish had it all fixed up for me to get knocked cold. Always telling me that I is the amazing, perfect resemblance type. Yeah, and the funny part of it is that uh, you say uh, Harris wasn't mad with you at all, huh? Oh, no. no. Well, uh, ain't you seen the newspaper? No, in the newspaper, what does it say? It say in there that Policeman Harris is uh, being promoted for excellent police work while he wasn't actual on duty. Uh -huh. And that Andrew Brown got a reward for assisting Joe Harris in catching the crook. You know, they give me $25. Oh, gee, that's great, Andy. Yeah, I... uh, well, Kingfish. Well, well, hello there, Amos, and there's my old pal, Andy. Yeah. Andy, I just read in the newspaper that you got a reward. Mm. Don't you think that I ought to get a little something, too, from what you got? Yeah, you really ought to get something, Kingfish. And I'm going to give you something, too. Uh, <laughs> uh, Andy, why is you looking at me that way? Just stand the way you is, Kingfish. Take that. Ooh. 
Andy, he's out cool. The resemblance is amazing. <laughs> he's the perfect sleeping beauty type. <laughs> Be sure to listen in next Friday evening at this same time when Cecil B. DeMille will be Amos and Andy's guest. There'll be a beauty contest in which Mr. DeMille will be one of the judges, but plenty can happen when the Kingfish and Andy get mixed up in it. Our program is broadcast to our armed forces everywhere. This is Harlow Wilcox, and before I say goodnight, here's one more thing. Yes, we've done a great job of manufacturing synthetic rubber, all right. Plants are operating day and night, turning out tires, but their tires are boys' need. America's rubber-borne transport must be kept rolling, which means you and I have to go easy. Conserve your present tires to the utmost. Have them recapped as soon as they need it, share your car with others, drive only when necessary, and drive carefully to avoid damaging tires. Switch tires every 5,000 miles. And remember, now with summer coming on, hot weather increases tire wear. So always keep under 35 miles an hour. Thank you, and good night. Ew. Gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products.